Hi guys, I've had a couple of questions about making propellers for small fan-driven cars. And by a coincidence, I found this um, lolly stick, I suppose I'd call it, um, on the path the other day. So I did what I always tell my grandchildren not to do and picked it up. But I've since run it through our dishwasher to make sure it's clean. And what I'm going to do is mark the centre of it first and drill a hole in it and then I'm going to heat it up, steam it or something, put it in hot water and twist it so that we've got a propeller. But I'll mark up the hole and drill the hole first because it's going to be a bit difficult to do that once it's twisted. I'll drill a hole in it make the hole big enough to put a bit of plastic tubing in it that will be big enough to go over the outside of the shaft on a typical electric motor, small electric motor, so that we can push it on. I'll use two-pack epoxy to glue it in place. plastic tubes on these cotton buds are just about the right size. If anything they're just a little bit too big a diameter. But I expect I can always pop a little bit of hot glue in there before I push it in place. So that should do. So I'll drill the hole big enough to put this in there. Do the twisting. Glue it on and then build a little car to see if we can make it drive it forwards. Right, that's the right size hole. I'll go and twist it now in hot water or boiling water so I'll have to be careful I don't burn my hands. Then I'll come back and glue it in place. That seemed to work quite well. I just held it in the steam from the boiling kettle. As I say, keeping my hands well out the way so that I didn't burn my hands. We've got a nice twist in it now. If you get it hot and wet again it will probably straighten up so just be aware of that. Now I'll put some glue on there to hold it in place on the plastic shaft and then we can glue it onto there. I haven't put the glue on yet but I've just found, because the holes are a tiny bit tight on the plastic, that's enough to make that a tight, a tight fit on the motor. So I shouldn't need to put any hot glue on there, that'll just grip it anyway. I expect there's other glues that you could use. I just happen to have some of this handy. This is far more than I need. takes about five or ten minutes to dry. Hopefully that's dry. Feels dry. I just happen to have a little car here that I made for a totally different project. So I've just stuck an electric motor straight on top with an on-off switch.
So I'll trim the bit of plastic tubing so we can put it on there. So we'll go and test run it in the kitchen and I'll tell you about the car. Make sure I don't put my fingers in the propeller when I turn it on and off. But there we are, so lollipop stick twisted in some steam and glued to a little plastic tube that goes on the shaft of the motor, on off switch on top of the motor, battery underneath the motor and a car that I made for demonstrating the coanda effect. So I better put a link to that in the video description just so you can see what the car is all about. But it's only made from drinking straws, plastic drinking straws stuck together, four CDs, eight bottle tops for the hubs and my usual barbecue skewers for the axles. And that's it. Job done. I like that one.